Today, we're going to work on how to use a tap and die set. Everything is uh, hand operated. This is no precise operation as you would find in a machine shop where we're located right at the present moment. What you're going to do is take a piece of aluminum, use a quarter 20, and you're going to drill and tap a hole. You're going to run your screw, or your bolt, excuse me, a bolt down through it and be sure that it all works properly. Now if you were doing a lot of these, yes, you get a drill press and everything else, but this is maintenance. Maybe a, a bolt sheared off and you had to pull it out and now you want to retap the hole, or maybe you have to put another piece, attach something to something. This is a quick and easy way of doing it. We're going to show you the basics and understand how, how it happens. You have everything in the toolbox. What I'd like, be sure that you take care of this stuff because it's very, very expensive. All right? Now, like before, you've got to use a little common sense here. There's some times when you can use your gloves and there's other times that it's just not feasible. But let's discuss what you're going to need. You're going to need your toolbox that you always get. And then you're going to need to get the portable uh, battery oper operated drill, which is located in the uh, tool crib. This is the better of the, the uh, drills because it's so evenly balanced, it's much easier to drill the hole. It's not saying that you can't, but it's just a little easier for you. You should have a can of oil. This is three in one. Uh, it'll do what we're trying to do, but you really like to have cutting oil if you're doing a lot of it because of the heat factor. This is your center punch. Please put the stuff back in the, the boxes as you get done with it. Okay. Now this is a special type of center punch. You don't use a hammer on this. That's why you don't have a hammer in the toolbox. What you will do though, is once you put your piece of steel, or aluminum in this case, in the vise, be sure it's clamped down. Find a selection or an area in which you want to drill. Now you got to use a little common sense here. All right, you're using a quarter inch drill bit, so make some room on the edge so that you have a basic idea where you want to drill. Now this is a pressure type, so once I push down, it's going to fire and snap a, a pinhole in there. All right, you don't have to use a hammer, so please don't be banging on it with a hammer. You can see that right there. That's all you need to do with it. That when you're done, put it back in the box, please. Close up the box because you won't be needing it again. Then what we have is our, our drill bit. And in this case, it is a number seven. If you look on the, the scale, all right, because we're using a quarter 20, it calls for a number seven. It just gives it a little bit tighter tolerance. You could get away with a quarter um, drill bit but then the threads are pretty loose. Um, you're going to have a four flute cutting tip. All right. And these are really nice because it self cleans itself. All right. And it has the approachable tip here so that when you're putting it into the uh, hole that you just drilled out, it grabs a whole lot easier. All right. Then we have our little square. Okay, now this is just to help you as a guide, all right, when you're trying to be sure that you're going in straight. The first time I did it, um, I think I shot up at an angle of about 10 degrees without it, so it just helps you out. And then your T-handle, all right, pretty basic stuff um, that we have here, okay. Now what we would like to do is once you're done with everything, just put it back in the tool uh, housing so that it's ready to go. First thing is let's get our bit and our T squared away here. All right? It slides in there and you just twist it. Now don't be using a pair of pliers on this thing all right? or anything else. All right? The T slides back and forth. There's a little uh, ball inside that catches that, that little slot in there. Okay. 
hold our, our drill into it. Remember, you should already know how to do this. All right, hold on to the uh, chuck and tighten it up so you're ready to go. We got our square and we got our little oil. All right. Now what you want to do is, you're going back to where you put the uh, center punch there. Now the, the trick of this thing is, is because we're doing a freehand, you just got to take your time. All right. You want to get your drill right into your center punch there hole, all right, so it doesn't take off on you. Go slow, try to get it at a 90 degree angle, okay. Go slow, give it some, and just keep checking it to be sure that you're at 90 degrees, all right. course you're going to have to remove all any of the uh, metal shavings and again because we're just doing one hole here just be sure you keep enough oil on it right, so that it's not damaging the drill bit you don't want to burn it take your time you're in no rush. Unless, of course, the oil doesn't want to come out. There. Get back in there. Be sure to check it every once in a while. Be sure that it's as true as possible. All right. Get an idea for it. It may take several times, but don't be in a big rush with it. Remember, this is all freehand. You're going to need to apply a little bit of pressure to the drill. Set it down, grab your tap, your T-handle, set it in there. Now this is where, you know, if you start off crooked, you're going to have problems. So try to take your time and align it up, all right? Just slowly turn it, keep it square, rotate it very slowly, keep the oil on it. Get your square, just check to be sure that you're true, as true as you can get. Okay, remember this is freehand, so, okay, just check it. Keep turning equal pressure on the handles. Walk it around, don't, you don't need to force it. If you're forcing it, you're going to screw it up, no doubt about it. All right. Keep walking it. On these, you don't have to keep backing it out like the old ones, all right? Because it has the four flute and it'll work itself down and shoot shoot right out through the bottom. Now you're going to have to look down through the bottom and check to be sure that you're coming through. Now, just keep continuously doing that until you're clean through. Okay? And once it eases up, then just rotate it back. Okay? Take your time. Now, because this is aluminum, 
you're doing it by hand, you're not having to put as much oil on it. Just understand that the oil is there to keep the heat down as you're putting pressure on this element and cutting the threads. Now, don't be in a hurry because you can cross thread it as you pull it out. So just take your time and there you go. All right. Didn't have this tighten enough. All right. But please don't use a wrench on this. Just firm it up. All right. Now we're done with that. Now we're going to take our bolt and hopefully run it through freehand. Okay, you want to run it all the way down. All right. Then bring it back up. Now just check the, just for our, uh, fun, just check to be sure that you're pretty square there. All right. Pull the bolt about two thirds of the way back up. All right. All right, and just check it and be sure that you're pretty well square. Remember, this is just a basic introduction to it. If you need more, you can take uh, uh, machine tooling uh, for one of your electives. But just understand that we want you to have a basic understanding of how to do this in a situation where uh, you may have to do that if you're a maintenance tech. All right?